Okay, good. My cursor does disappear. Ooh, this looks good on my TV. Uh, let's see. My cursor does disappear the moment I actually get in and get going. Oh, I missed that spring upgrade already. Okay, so we're out here. Uh, I don't... I think I tried the lower area. Or... Oh, no. We're going to the ice area next, aren't we? Yeah, because we can't go this way, and I think the other way is... Uh, the other way is blocked too? Underwater, maybe? I'm not sure. This... This is a very light Metroidvania. Oh, is he gonna give me something, maybe? Magiri got taken? Oh, this is preposterous. You must not allow Amora to reach Tota Makora. She's often found hunting fish by the coast. Go now, hurry! Nope, still can't get whatever that thing is. Uh, let's see, am I even going the right way? Yeah, always are, always are right, give or take. We goodbye. Uh, never mind. I guess I have to go the other direction. Down we go. I must we go through tutorial land again. There's no reason to be here. Okay. So, I. I'd say I looked it up. Uh, when we started this, uh, when we restarted the save file, it actually said we were at the 10% mark for this game. At half an hour, so I'm betting this game is probably amounts to... This game probably amounts to... Oh, can I not? Oh, probably because I gotta break these. Oh, I got it. Maybe not. Okay, that kind of works. I thought I was supposed to use my, uh, my, like, the explosive owl, but I guess I can't. Oh, luckily I don't have to worry about the, uh, the meter. There we go. I, I don't have to worry about the mana meter while I'm out in the world like this. That's kind of nice. Okay, and whatever that is, I don't think I can get to it. So hopefully we get, like, the flippers after this, maybe. Or maybe we just need the owl to be in, in water mode. Ow. No! Damn it! Well, I guess that's one way to do it. And... Yep, I can't send him to go get the coins for me. There we go. That kind of works. Oh. I guess that works. Feels unsatisfying. Yep. But it works. I keep wanting to like bounce Koji off of stuff and it keeps not quite working. Okay. We going the right way? We are going the right way. I guess there's no wrong way. Ah. Okay. Just don't stand behind or uh, beneath the, the word murder crab. What the? What are you? It was like a dog that just immediately started walking straight down. Like, right, can I get this open at least? Yeah, I can. This gives me a master blaster with owl abuse instead of tank driving feel. I can kind of see that. It's, uh... I mean, the owl isn't the one that's actually taking damage. Sure, sure the owl bonks and is, I guess, upset about that. Well, I even, I wouldn't even say that it's particularly... Nope, that's not gonna work. And until we get some kind of swimming gear, I can't get through that. Let's see. Oh, hi. He is here. What do we got? What is this? Monsters drop extra gold seed and high jump with the fire. Hmm. Well, I got 94, so I can just kind of get what I want. Let's grab those. 
There we go. Well, yeah, that is that is actually tremendously higher. Uh, let's see. I can kind of see the Blaster Master comparison, but honestly, it's it's actually supposed to be a Metroidvania of a sort. It's weird. It's a Metroidvania slash what the? Nope, that didn't work. I guess that's that's most definitely owl abuse. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of Metroidvania-ish, though honestly I wouldn't say the level design really lends itself to it. It's got like mild branching paths. I'd almost say this is a speedrun platformer more than anything else with mild Metroidvania and roguelike elements to it. Uh, see the contents of gold chest before opening it. That's kind of nice. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Yep. And I'm just gonna continuously take damage from that guy. Okay, well, we're not dead yet. But I see it on my horizon. For casual mode, <laughs> this is still kind of mean. Hmm. There we go. Close enough. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I've seen some people play this, and they're absolute virtuosos. Of, like, getting around and wrecking all the, uh, all the enemies. In, like, it's almost creepy. Okay. It's almost creepy how, like, effective, uh, some of the speedrunners are for this game. I am none of those. I am adequate at best. Why? Oh, because I was hitting the shell, of course. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's try that again. See, did your owl just evolve? Uh, well, I guess I'm out of mana rocks. But uh, the owl doesn't evolve. The owl... Oh, boy. There we go. Uh, the owl doesn't evolve. The owl can switch elements. Well, some of those are lost forever. So, once I get some more mana, uh, you can actually have fire, ice, or lightning. Currently, I only have... Uh... Oh. Uh, let's see. Currently, I only have fire and lightning unlocked. But I'd like to get... Uh... Well, I'd like to. I'm going to be getting ice after this level. But yeah, on the on the topic of what kind of game this is, whoops, that didn't that didn't work. Koji, it hits for me. Okay, you know what? I'll I will grant. There's some there's definitely some owl abuse going on in here. You are correct about that. Uh, but I was trying to describe this as a speedrun platformer. I think I'm actually going to go back to that as probably the most apt description. There we go. So if you notice, I can evolve it between fire, lightning, and regular. Uh, I've noticed a... Uh, I've noticed a number of specific games tailor, tailor-made tailor almost uh, specifically for the speedrunning community. And almost by the speedrunning speed community too. Uh, I mean, there's no denying that one of the main... Uh, like testing groups for Celeste, for example. Can I? Nope, can't get that open. Uh... Uh, but one of the main, like, focus testing groups for Celeste was speedrunners. And generally for good reason. Hello. Okay, so extra. Nah. Sparks traverse the ground on impact when using Safara's feather. Yeah, let's grab that. Oh! Oh, dying actually got rid of all of my goodies. So if I don't die, I get to keep them all. Okay, good to know. Okay, so it's the surface that I have to hit. Well, let's just leave as such for now. Question. 
Nope, that doesn't work. But what about lightning that way? Yes, that does work. Let's see. Yeah, what other games have very, very heavily been inspired and influenced by the speedrunning community more than anything else? Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, there's a couple of, like, smaller indie games that especially have, like, a large speedrunning component. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to that one. You can cycle patches if you get more than four. Uh, no. So, uh, if you get a fifth badge, you have to replace one of them. Which is fine. And then, uh... I should have checked for secrets. And then, as far as I know, you can't get any more slots. It'd be lovely if you could, but they're inherently... Uh, they're inherently temporary. Let's see. Uh, the more you use them, the uh, the more they are, more likely they are to break. I think they have a a set duration. Let's see. So, for example, uh, ooh. I guess that works. That was a bit of a waste on the mana rocks, but whatever. Ah. Uh, There we go. Let's see. But they're not this, like, permanent thing. Ow. Okay. There we go. I like the, the lightning version. The explosion has never felt particularly useful for me. But I think that's just because most of the enemies that I'm up against... Whoops. Well, that doubly didn't work. Ah! Okay, I'm dying, but this should be health. Yeah. I guess I'll pop this open. And I get Koji's Lock to his Zahara form. Hell yeah. This might end up being a little overpowered, but that's okay. Unfortunately, this this one's on a on a timer. Okay, but we needed that. I don't uh, I guess I do. But that is fine. But yeah, if you notice, one of the badges just b broke. Uh, it now opens up a new slot to replace. I don't know if I personally like this system. I think I think I in general will talk about not really liking the uh the replaceability of of all of the badges. Uh, just because some of the badges are actually really cool. And it would be neat if you could, like, uh, equip them at, at cost permanently or something like that. As, like, a... Not a meta progression system, but, like, you know, here's your equipment. Pick your loadout. What did I play recently that worked like that? Uh, not exactly in the same vein, but Void Bastards. The, uh, the mutations that you could pick up in Void, Void Bastards were really cool. Let's see, this game is not PETA approved. I They might approve of it. If only because the human is the only one that actually takes damage or dies. The owls are immortal. Also, PETA has like some real weird standards. So I don't really know. I. Got it. I didn't really expect that I'd be able to get this one open, but hey oh, here we go. Still not sure what those tokens are, are for, but still. Okay, uh But yeah, if it works like Paper Mario Mario, maybe. Uh I it would just be nice if they were harder to come by, but yeah, you unlocked them permanently.
There we go. Fortunately, we lose our multiplier. Almost wish the multiplier actually just worked based off of, uh, uh, you know, hitting enemies without getting hit yourself or something. It'd certainly be easier to pull off. Let's see. I guess sometimes it can be a little, little forgiving. Kind of. Hello. These look neat. Okay. Cast off at lightning speed. Or flaming rock with both of these. Well, you know what? I've got a decent amount of silver just sitting around. I'm just going to grab those two. I'm not terribly injured. And looks like this one's pretty linear. Oh, that didn't work. You can just barely boop the snoot and it takes him out. You just gotta, you just gotta actually boop. Uh, let's see. Is there, nope, no secret room on this side. But again, this is a game that's meant to be kind of like, sort of roguelike-y, but also sort of, there we go. Sort of roguelike-y, but also sort of speedrunner-ish. So it's not really, these tokens are more meant to be like temporary boost than anything else. I just don't like it because I think the, uh, I think the upgrades are actually pretty rad and it's like, I like that one. Like there was a spring jump one that I had earlier and I was like, yeah, this is, this is pretty rad. And then it was gone and I was sad. Oops. Is it boss time yet? Yeah, it is. Scale back, eh? Whoa! My platforms. Whoops. Okay. So he's gonna pop up. What? No! Well, shoot. I am unsure of how to hit this guy. Easily, especially if he's got Koji biting powers. Oh, no. Now he's gonna break both of those. I mean, at least he's got a very defined pattern. It's just the question of... How the heck do I hit him? Oh, no. Okay, that's how we hit, hit him. So the platforms are purely... Purely extraneous. I guess they're supposed to be, uh, they're purely to avoid that hit more than anything else. Okay, there it goes. Well, a lot of that, a lot of that cash reward is donezo, gonzo, but that's okay. We got what we needed. Now let's go. Well. Oh, is that not where I'm supposed to go? <laughs> Launch an icy attack, freeze foes, watch your mana, mana rock meter. And I got a C. Alright, so now that I'm now that I'm a uh 
Was that an apprentice or master of the elements? I don't know. One way or another, now that we got these, probably go back to the dude and then he gives us something. Hookshot? Anyway, you guys were wondering about, uh... Why is this called Eagle Island? There's your answer. There's the eagle. And yes, in fact, eagles are jerks. Uh, let's see, can I... Can I not? Uh, I was really hoping there'd be a warp point next to the dude. We Eat the bird! Eat the bunny, Koji! For God's sake, you haven't eaten anything since the other owl got grabbed. No! We cannot allow Amora to gain her full power from the totems! Our only hope is to destroy her with this airship. I've nearly finished its repairs. You must head to the eagle's nest on the cliffs above. Keep Amara busy, whilst I prepare the attack. Go now, we have no time to waste. Where what? I guess go up. Oh, that didn't do anything. Let's see. Yeah, so as long as I don't die, I don't actually lose any of my silver from round from a round to round basis. Ice? Ah! Oh, come on! I have to wait for them to respawn. That's interesting, though. Bango. Oh, oh, I see. It's a, uh, it's an equipment test, ish, to make sure that you can't like cheese your way past. Like this is obviously testing to see if I've got uh, a jump power up or something like that. Makes sense, and there's no secret there. The HUD for this game looks great. Yeah, it reminds me of the HUD from um. Flint hook, actually. That's a lot of fire. Ah! Well, that didn't work. I see. I see. It's got all of the different... Oh, that didn't work. This might take a second try. Okay. So no HP guts mode. Whoop! Never mind. It started flying high for some reason. And let's try that again. I mean... Oh. No, it's actually just where the short, uh, the checkpoint is. Well, that's kind of nice. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. So, he's going high. Okay. He's going high again. Really should probably try and smack him a couple of times when he does that. Ow. Thought I was just out of range. I was not. Ow. 
It doesn't really seem particularly harmable. At least I can get do a decent amount of damage to him while he's going with that. Ow. Throwing a little bird at a big bird. Hell yeah. It, I mean, it's just birds all the way down. I can't tell if I've done any damage to this sucker. Like, obviously I'm hitting him, but usually they start flashing red after a couple of hits. He does not seem particularly whelmed by my 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 vigorous owling that I am giving him. It's like one part drubbing, one part all owls. Oh, there we go. Scripted! Armaro isn't the monster you think she is. She has seen how you handle Koji. If you can show Amara your bond with Koji, perhaps she will free Ichiro. And we might show her that not all humans are to be feared. Oop. Okay, hopefully the embargoes for this game are, are dunsky. 